Let's compare these two fractions. We have 1 8 and 1 6, and we want to know which one's greater. So you might be able to reason this out if you had one object. You divide it into eight pieces or six pieces. Which one would have the bigger pieces? It would be the one divided into six. So 1 6, that is greater than 1 8. You could also use a calculator to figure this out, or you could find a common denominator, something that both 8 and 6 go into evenly. So I think 6 times 4, that gives me 24. And then 8 times 3, that gives me 24 as well. So now I have a common denominator. But I can't just multiply the denominator here by 4. I also have to multiply the numerator. That's because 4 over 4, it's just 1. So I'm multiplying this by 1. I don't change the value, just the way it's represented. 1 times 4, that's 4. And 1 6 and 4 24, they're equivalent fractions. Up here, multiply by 3, we end up with 3 24. Now we can compare our fractions. Same denominator, we look at the numerators. 4 is larger than 3, so 4 24 is larger than 3 24. Only by 1 24th, but it's still larger. That means since these are equivalent here, and these are equivalent, 1 6, that's greater than 1 8. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.